hindi naman naaprubahan na ng house, di ba? Now, with respect dun sa allegation of pork, it's always the president who will decide. The president is a lawyer, so if from his legal point of view is unconstitutional relative to this pork, to this alleged pork, then he will veto that, as he did prior to at this budget. At this time, sir, remember, it was Senator Ping Lakson who, again, made the the pointing out of alleged insertions and dun nga na uwi sa reenacted budget, do you see this as parang deja vu to for the 2020 national budget? Hindi naman kasi yung I remember last time ang nagumpisayan sa gulo yung sa loob ng house mismo eh. House of Reps. Hindi sa Senado. This time ang House of Reps Ang bilis ng passage, di ba? So, yun kay Bando. So, yun lang pong sa budget. Um, hmm. Initially, um, when we talked to Congressman Salceda, he confirmed, but he would backtrack later on. He said it's not uh, pork barrel, di ba? Yeah. Um, ngayon, sir, apparently, mukhang hindi lang siya 100 million per congressman, hmm. but seven times. 700 million per hmm. Congressman, as alleged by uh, Senator Laxon. First off, in terms of the amount, do you think this is reasonable? Uh, depend. I think uh, the, whether the budget is reasonable or not will depend on the needs of a particular district. Does it mean, sir, that, say for example, a third-class municipality would have the same need as probably a urbanized city, like Pareho ba silang kailangan ng 700? Why is everybody getting 700 each? It could be that the priorities require that kind of amount in a particular district. So Even if it's an urban place, kung merong kailangan sa isang aspect ng siyudad na yun, na kailangan, and kailangan na that kind of amount, mm -hmm. ibigay pa rin yun. So you don't see... Any problem with uh, 700 million for each congressman? Depending on the needs. Samo ba ilalagay? Kung if you are an urban city, o kaya mga structure mo, infrastructure, tapos dumo ilalagay, something is wrong with that. What ka maglalagay? O kaya na yung infrastructure mo. Pero kung yung urban city, ilalagay mo sa health, at merong epidemic nun, kailangan mo ng ganito, hindi okay yun. So it depends on the needs. Hmm. Now, whether or not this is pork barrel, that will depend on the evaluation of the president, consistent with what the Constitution dictates and what the Supreme Court has decided on the matter. Are you saying, sir, that when it comes to when the budget is passed in Congress and it reaches the president, the president will scrutinize? Oh, definitely, as he has done so in the past. We, we should always remember that he is a lawyer. Yes. Why would he want to scrutinize the budget again for some Because that purposes? is his constitutional duty to scrutinize the budget. Well, sir, and sinasabi po rin ni Congressman Salcedo before is that, um, well, context first. Ang sabi ng Supreme Court before, hindi dapat ang congressman yung nag-identify ng projects. Mm. No? Now, what they did was talk to the DPWH or to different agencies in the government, tapos ipapasok yung kanilang quote-unquote, needs ng constituents mm. dun sa national expenditure program. Do you think that is a circumvention of the Supreme Court decision? That will be the Supreme Court's decision whether or not it is a circumvention. But you don't see any legal problem when they do that? As I said, it will be the Supreme Court who will be the final decider of that issue. Yes, sir. Um, aside from the uh, 700 million each, mukhang okay kayo dep de depende sa need yan, di ba? Parang hindi siya masyadong malaki, you think? Depende nga sa needs. Eh. Kung kailangan mo ng 700 million, no, particular... So, you're okay with 700. Now, on top of the I 7... I do not agree with 700. Depende nga eh. Kung kailangan ng isang lugar ng 700 million, at ito ay hindi naman pork barrel, given the yardstick provided by the Supreme Court, then okay yun. Anyway. But ultimately, it will be one, the president first. And then if somebody questions it, it's the Supreme Court. Okay. On top of the 700, meron pa pong 
billion pesos that is going to be allotted. Ang sinasabi ni Speaker Cayetano is for um, research and facilities, improvement of facilities of our congressman. Masyado tayong mayamang bilang bansa, sir. No? What do you think? <laughs> well, kung yan ang paliwanag ni Speaker Alan, then we'll have to give him the benefit of the doubt. The presumption of regularity given to all official acts will have to be applied until such time as there is evidence to the contrary. That is ta taxpayers' money, no? Correct. And Exactly, but there is such constitutional concepts as and law, jurisprudence, that every official act is regular unless proof to the contrary is supplied 